Hey crew, it's Pit, and we're back with another reaction video. We got something a little bit different today. Uh, today is Friday, it's going to be Time Friday, and so we're going to do some more time. And we're going to get back into his spoken word. He's got two more of the spoken words up that I know of. We're going to check out those two today. I enjoyed his last two. I'm looking forward to enjoying this two. First, we're going to do anarchy or anxiety, and then we're going to do anarchy. So let's check out anxiety and see what he's got. I wake up feeling panicked. My pills are in the cabinet. It takes all the strength I have to just ignore them as I pass it. Man, I hope this feeling passes soon. Been hell and back. It's barely noon. I'm scared to go outside. Shit, I'm surprised I even left my room. Uh, Yo, if you don't know about anxiety, anxiety will really wrap you up like this. Right. I have a problem talking on the phone i have several problems but the easiest one to explain is talking on the phone i can know that you are waiting for me to call you and i still get anxiety about calling <clears throat> i still get anxious about picking up the phone and calling people like i don't even call like i i don't i hardly call my wife i i, I hardly call anyone i don't like to I don't like to aggravate people, so I don't call people. And that's just, it's its something I'm working on, but I'm not working on it very hard. Like, it, it's one of the lower priorities on my work on me list, but it is a thing. Like, I get balled up. Like, I literally just can't function thinking about having to make a phone call. It's, it's crazy. So I, I feel that, like. Some people it's going outside, some people it's going to the store, some people it's riding in a car. For some people it's this and some people it's that, but when you suffer with anxiety in that way, like it will literally just stop you. It's like you're stuck in a glass ball and you can't move. It really is. If you're going through that, I'm praying for you. And it feels like no one understands how bad I'd love to join my friends. It's hard to breathe. I'm anxious and I'll end up staying home instead. Man, I have a hard time talking to the people I love, like people I want to talk to. I have a hard time. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, I play video games, but I play multiplayer games solo, even though I got friends that play them because I don't want to aggravate them with my playing. I don't want to aggravate them. Like, that's where I'm, I'm doing my my mental stuff. And that's where my anxiety comes from. It's not wanting to give them the bad experience. How my stack is built. We're going to get into that at some point, how my stack is built. I ain't done that yet, and I've been meaning to. But, but I feel that. Like, and you don't want to interact with the people you love. Like, the people that you care about, you still are like, nope, 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 nope. That's true. That really happens. The doctor hasn't helped me much. He signs his name. I buy the drug. That's because the doctor does not want to help you. The doctor is not there to cure you. The doctor is not there to help you. The doctor is there to treat you. The doctor is there to get the money out of you. That is what the doctor is there for. Anxious and I'll end up staying home instead. The doctor hasn't helped me much. He signs his name. I buy the drugs. I'm feeling uh -huh. weird. I take one out. It makes me feel comfortably numb. It makes you feel absolutely nothing. I hate them things. Like, I, I've taken them. I, I did. I, I didn't get addicted, and I am so thankful for that like i thank my god for that because the them anxiety medicines get you in a place where you can't function at all without like the more you take them the more you can't function without them it's better to face your anxiety and to push through it than it is to medicate them away it is every single time no matter how hard it is no matter how balled up it makes you it is better to fight through it and that medicates your way out of it every time man i can't handle my emotions like i used to it's all different now i start to sweat i feel confused my fingers shake my heartbeat pounds and i'm feeling claustrophobic every time the closet closes because my skeletons are in there so i have to leave it open i'm just nervous over nothing even shit i can't control <laughs> i used to love to be in public now i'd rather be alone <laughs> and even though it's difficult it's probably for the best if i didn't make a change i would have drank myself to death <laughs> some raw shit right there that's some raw shit right there. Tom has been quite open about his, his alcoholism and his problems in that manner. And he, the, the, I, I love what Tom does. I love what Tom does 
opening himself up and being raw in that manner so that people can find the way to help themselves through his music, through his spoken word. I love it. I do. This is great. Then I wake up feeling better than I did the day before. But then it hits me out of nowhere and almost knocks me to the floor. Mm-hmm. A heaviness, a readiness to get back into bed. Mm-hmm. A sadness that I can't explain, a cloud over my head. My deepest, darkest fears feel like they're filling up an ocean and I'm floating on the surface with no hope to keep me going. I've been down on myself. Man, I forgot how to believe in me. I never asked for help, now I just struggle with it secretly. <clears throat> That's another one of my issues, is to never ask for help. If I ask you for help, it is desperate straits. Like, it, I have already not been able to do it by myself multiple times by the time I ask anyone to do anything. Anything. I wish that it was something I could sweep under the carpet. Trying to hide it all the time only makes the battle harder. Mm. Man, I lived a lot of moments that I probably should have cherished. Now they seem so far away from me. I'm angry and embarrassed. I can't even tell my parents they don't need to keep on worrying. My mama and my papa don't deserve to have to bury me. <clears throat> I hope the pills I have will hold me over for a while. I'll keep searching for the strength to find my smile. Tom is in a much, much better place now. Like you can see it in the way he interacts. He is in a better place now. I love it. I love that Tom is working through his issues. He talks later in other songs about how he's not taking the pills. And that's great. The, the sooner you can get off of them medicine bottles, the better it is for you. Like not, not just for your family, not just for your friends. It is better for you too to not take them pills. I promise you. That was great. I love that. Now we're going to check out Anarchy. We're going to see what this other one's about. Uh, as far as I know, this is the fourth. This will be the fourth of the four spoken words that he's got up. He's got more. I want to check him out, but this this seems to be the only four that he's got up at the moment. So I'm going to check him out. I, I love it. I, I am a spoken word artist. Like all of my my stuff. Ever since I was a kid, I rewrote songs. But whenever I wrote something new, it was meant to be said. Like, it was meant to be spoken. It wasn't really meant to be sung. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I dig spoken word. I got away from all the chains they tried to lock me up with. Mm-hmm. I wasn't made for nine to fives of working in construction. I did that, though. <laughs> I started working construction at 13 years old. My mama, my mama kicked me out of the house at 13. I had a lot of issues. Like, I don't blame her. Uh, my grandma took me in and my dad got out of jail about six months after that <clears throat> and I started working with him I started working building houses on the weekends and during the summer I started working with my dad so I, I got a lot of construction experience it's probably the reason my back's as jacked up as it is so yeah, I mean, yeah that's a little history on me I never fit the system my description is the suspect I gave him all the finger then I rode into the sunset and I don't want to be promoted. I don't need to raise a buck. And I don't want the Christmas bonus or the new company truck. Uh-huh. Keep that silly f-ing uniform I had to wash and dry. I'm not a brick that's in your wall, but you're a thorn that's in my side. I was born and I comply with all the orders and defy all of the horrors I survived. I feel like normals of the skies. And I don't want an application or a half an hour lunch or a cubicle to work a job that I don't even love. Uh-huh. Are you doing your passion? Thank you. You can't just jump into your passion and expect it to sustain. But are you working towards doing what you want to do with your life? Like, uh, some people want to work in this cubicle. Some people want to crunch numbers. Some people want to do these things. Some people do them because they have to and they want to do something else. But are you really working towards what you want to do? Or are you sitting in front of Netflix and Hulu? Or... Are you going to the movies in the club? Because that is an either or situation most of the time. If you're not spending your free time pursuing what you love, then you're not going to get to do what you love. That is truth. I love this. And I don't want an application or a half an hour lunch or a cubicle to work a job that I don't even love. 
My veins are full of gasoline, my motor's made of stolen parts I've tightened all the nuts and bolts, but I don't want to work on cars The system's trying to smother me, but anarchy is in my heart They slash my tires and cut my brakes, I'll crash now if it even starts My boss don't even know that I make music he would care about He thinks I'm just some stoner stacking boxes in a warehouse I got dreams and goals and things I'm told are worth to keep aspiring When music is my full-time job, then nobody can fire me Got there too, Tom put in the grind Tom got there there is no worse feeling than a micromanaging manager. I worked like I worked construction. I was in the Navy. I worked in the plants here in the Baton Rouge area. I worked for the plants here in the Baton Rouge area. And there's nothing worse than somebody sitting on top of you telling you, well, you can't go take a break or you can't eat. What do you mean I can't eat? Motherfucker, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat when I want to. That's gotten me in trouble before. I'm gonna smoke a cigarette. Fuck you. That's gotten me in trouble before, because I'm not the one to be controlled. I'm just not. I, I can play by the rules when I need to. I don't most of the time. But right now it ain't hiring My groceries expiring My rent is due My phone is off The extra shifts are tiring I know I'm made for more Than what my resume reflects The government is trying to dumb me down With guns and booze and sex yep. I'm not a salesman I couldn't sell beer in the prohibition Man. I've never been the type To make a living off commission I'm no good at wearing suits Or doing taxes for a business That's true Like we've done Tom's type Tom was not built for that I want to count some money Not the hours and the minutes I'm not a carpenter, a lawyer, a doctor, I'm not a waiter, or a teacher, or a cop, or a plumber, I'm not a tradesman, or an architect, an engineer, a pilot, or a mailman, I'm something that don't fit into their perfect little game plan. Yep. I'm me. And they can try to kill my spirit with overtime when the barn burns, but if there's one thing I ain't scared of, it is long days and hard work, so they can pay themselves a dollar while I only make a cent, but I will- <laughs> I, I love that line, I'm gonna back up to it. And they can try to kill my spirit with overtime when the barn burns. But if there's one thing I ain't scared of, it is long days and hard work. I will outwork most fully bodied people. And that is true. I mean, it, it's funny. When I was when, right before my accident, I had this little guy. He's an engineer now, but he was working for me. I was doing soils testing. And I said something about it. I need to get my lazy ass up and do this. And he's like, man, you are the hardest working lazy motherfucker I ever met. <laughs> that's just I'm always having to do the next thing like whenever you give me free reign to get a job done that job's going to be done it's going to be done in a very efficient manner and it's going to be done well but it's going to get done I ain't going to bullshit around I hated those jobs like in construction you'll if you work in the plants for sure you get on a T&M job I'm in materials and they're like drag it out stretch it out because they get paid for your time and the materials for the job so they want you to stretch out your time that's not the jobs for me bro give me a hard money job give me a job where we've got to get this done for this amount of money by this date and we're gonna bust our ass and get it done that's the kind of job i want like i love that shit. i love to have a deadline and to have to work hard to get to that deadline that is my shit. Work, so they can pay themselves a dollar while I only make a cent But I will stack up all my pennies till they're higher than the fence Then I'll climb them like a ladder and jump to the other side Spend the nickels that I made on a taxi or hitch a ride yeah. But they never thought they'd see the day I left them to survive And use the system that they built to leave their system all behind He did that too Yes indeed, we, yes, indeed. Y'all make sure you get back over to Tom's page Throw in some love. Give him a like, give him a sub Give him some comments down below Let him know that you appreciate what he's doing Because even though he is on the top of the game. He is. He is on the top of his game. It's still a hard road to hoe as an independent artist. He needs all the support he can get, and you need to give it to him. Make sure you get back to his page. Tom McDonald, thank you for these two. I appreciate it. This was great. I love spoken word. I do. It is my medium. It is my preferred medium. To the crew, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate every single minute that you are here with me. I am praying for you every single day. Let's let that stay. Peace.